first time I heard of a sex robot was probably maybe 10 years ago. And it was this video and a bunch of people, I know some graduate school sent me this video because I knew what I, I was studying sex. And it was, I don't know if you, either of you, Jamie, have seen this video, but it went viral and it was this early version of a sex robot, but it was like the silicone face, silicone face with a wig. And she, I'll say she was eating a banana, but she wasn't actually eating a banana. And it was basically like this head attached to a broomstick and it had a sheet over it. And so you couldn't see the rest of the, the robot. You just saw the, the face of it. But then the, the manufacturer shows you it's just like a, a broomstick. So what I thought was interesting is that even though it looks so hilariously bad, that there was obviously a market for it because so many people were interested in looking at this video and also that people were buying this product. But now you fast forward, I think it was like five years ago, there's a huge, um, I would say, not moral panic, but people, there was a lot more discussion about it. They said the robots are coming. The, I don't think the technology was quite there yet. I wrote about it quite a bit at the time. And now they're saying in probably another year or two, it's going to be really coming in, in terms of the popularity that these robots are going to be incorporated into everyday life in some cases. Because when I think of social media... So many people think that this conversation is a joke right here. And I, I'm telling you, and I've, I've said it for a very long time. I think when these sex robots, when the more they become realistic and everything, it is going to become a big problem. Right now, one of the biggest factors of that is going to be the family law court system. Uh, the juice is not worth the squeeze for these guys getting in relationships, uh, for having kids. And then with the false allegations for all these successful men, they can be from 20, 30, 40 years ago. Why are people not wanting to get in relationships? Well, let me ask you, if you were one of those guys, would you want to be in a relationship? This conversation, I think, is going to get more and more out of hand. And this is one of those conversations where I want to be wrong, because if we don't procreate, we don't have a world, but it's coming. Let's listen a little bit more. Yeah, the Internet AI, like you said, is becoming so mainstream and so ubiquitous. What's going to happen when we have these robots that are now being integrated into human life? And what happens when the technology does get so good that, you know, they are more human like and they are able to meet people's emotional needs and maybe even physical needs? What's going to happen to us then? Yeah, I disagree with that. When it, they meet their emotional needs and, you know, some of their physical needs, it's going to be their physical needs. Men are driven by sex. OK. And a lot of the guys that, you know, it's so surprising to me is the guys that I talk to that are married that say, hey, man, it's been a year or two since I've had sex. Why did you get married to a guy just to turn him down all the time? And then you get aggravated when he asks you to have sex. He married you for a reason. He's coming to his spouse to have sex. We we have that desire that's what we were put here on the earth to do was to be fruitful and multiply and he is coming to you the person that he married one in relations and you keep turning him down and now we've got this robot it's not about emotional needs he's got that feeling down there he wants to relieve himself and this robot says yes sir may i have another which one are they going to choose i'm telling you watch guys uh, we're going to stop breeding i mean maybe <laughs> that's the the ai's plan it's to not exterminate the human race, but to give them options so that they just completely stop reproducing, make the options far more attractive. And in a, in a way, we've kind of done that, like with video games, um, like how and video games and just being online. I mean, I'm sure you've seen the statistics of how many people are single today and how many men have gone like more than a year without any sex. Yeah. And the stats here, it's like 30 percent of male millennials and 20 percent of women wild yeah that's a lot it's crazy and what 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 is taking the place of them going out and trying to find uh, a, a mate what is it well it's the internet it's video games it's being constantly stimulated by this artificial realm that you exist in when you're playing call of duty and it's uh you know interacting with people only online and not having to go out to have your just some sort of intellectual or some sort of a social discourse connection f yeah fulfilled w in your life but it's only through this weird surface way do you think that i'm gonna stop it right there man i mean yeah i i do believe that video games is a problem but 
video games has also been a relief. The reason why these boys are choosing video games is because they would rather be on there with their friends where they're not being judged rather than being with this person that tells them that they're not, they're not good enough. And they constantly feel like they're being judged. Unfortunately, because of this Hollywood bull crap that we see right now, it is taught the majority of women won't like the top 10% of men. And they're not even nowhere near the top 10% of women, but the expectations have become so unreal. So for these guys, are they checking out? Yeah. They said, you know what? I'll play video games. I'll be over here in my little world. And then what else? Porn, dude. When we was growing up, you had the scrambled cable TV and stuff like that. You'd watch 30 minutes hoping you'd see a little nipple come by, you know. Now they've got access to all this stuff. And I, man, I think that that causes so many problems for people that are consuming it. But it's there and they are checking out. Eventually, we are going to see real world problems. And when these sex robots come out, guys, don't say I didn't warn you. If we do not change the way our society is operating and we do not put family first, if we don't find a way to make marriage important again and start talking about these American values, not American values, the world values that built us to what we are now, we are in very, very big trouble.